Sister Wives Cody Brown wanted to marry a min or girl dear loves, welcome to use a drama. Please do subscribe my YouTube channel. Cody Brown and his partners became popular due to Sister Wives. Their story on TLC began when they had added Robin, E, the fourth wife, into their family. But things began to go downhill for them. Everyone could see through the polygamist bias. At last, the time came and Christine, Janelle, and Mary dumped him after years of dealing with unfairness. Now, Cody and Robin are trying to focus on being a monogamous couple. Meanwhile, Christine has already tied the knot with her new husband, David Woolley. At the same time, Janelle and Mary are embracing their lives as single ladies after many, many years. In all this, another concerning thing from the past has come in the limelight. Fans are disgusted after this reveal from Cody's courting history sister wives. Cody Brown wanted to marry a much younger and minor girl fans, disgusted. It's been almost a year since Sister Wives fans saw Cody, Robin, Janelle, Christine and Mary on screen. In the last season, all of them had dumped him except his fourth wife and moved on to better things. Ever since the show began, viewers have not looked up to Cody. They instead bash him for mistreating his wives often. As per the Brown family's book, Becoming Sister Wives, fans discovered something disturbing from the past. On Reddit, a fan shared an excerpt from the book. It had Christine expressing jealousy over Cody marrying a younger girl. The passage said how the polygamist and his first wife, Mary, courted a young girl. They decided to wait until she was 18 to marry her, but it didn't work out. The Redditor clarified that there wasn't much age difference, as Cody himself must have been 21 or 22 years old at that time. But the fact that he was willing to wait for a minor girl to turn 18 gave major red flag vibes. Sister Wives viewers agreed with this perspective. Some gave a neutral take on this by saying it is quite common in Mormon culture to do so. Sister Wives, fans doubtful about Cody redeeming himself in the upcoming season. Sister Wives fans have seen Cody Brown stooping lower and lower with every new season of the show. When Christine, Janelle, and Mary left him, not only did he blame them, but he also began blaming Robin, the only one who stood by him. After seeing this, viewers were sure that there wasn't a chance for him to mend his ways. It was too late. As Father's Day passed in the month of June, viewers realized how Cody didn't get a single wish from any of his kids. So, they suspected that things between him and the kids were still as stained as ever. So, Based on this, they again expected that the polygamist would still be his usual notorious self in the upcoming season. Cody's nephew had also revealed some predictions about the upcoming season. He said that it will most likely be released in August 2024. Are you excited to see them back on screens? Tell us in the Sister Wives. Christine shades Cody on their Nachos anniversary. The Nachos incident will always remain the most iconic incident in the history of Sister Wives. It became popular and is a source of intense criticism towards Cody. Apparently, his mere remark on the way Christine ate nachos during the early days of their relationship made it to the headlines, and neither Christine nor her viewers are letting it go now. After all this, Christine recently celebrated her nachos anniversary with David. She not only shaded Cody in her post, but almost made a mean remark. What did she say how did she celebrate her nachos anniversary sister wives? Christine celebrates Nacho's anniversary and shades Cody. Sister Wives star Christine Brown would never really get away with Cody after the remark he made about her love for Nacho's. She has been shading him for it since she met David Woolley. The couple even went on a date to eat this Mexican dish and talked about how they love to eat it with each other. Even after all this, it appears that Christine hasn't had enough. She recently took to Instagram and posted another car confession segment. She recorded herself standing at a gas station and revealed she was at the one-stop Big Horn Co-op in Wyoming. Apparently, this was the same place where her nachos incident with Cody took place years back. Hence, Christine decided to celebrate her nachos anniversary and shaded her former husband in her recent story. Christine recalled how Cody called her chubby and was grossed out after watching her eat nachos. She stated that during her road trip with David, she was passing by and decided to eat nachos just to have a kind of nachos anniversary. But that's not all. Christine ended up shading Cody by playing with her words and concluding her video by saying, 
but I'm nachos anymore. Sister Wives What is this nachos incident all about? Sister Wives star Christine Brown's recent shade is considered to be the shade of all time. She gave a loud and clear message to Cody that she wasn't his anymore. Apparently, all of this started when Cody and Christine went on a road trip during the initial days of their marriage. They stopped at a gas station, and the latter decided to order nachos for herself. This mere incident was something that couldn't get out of Cody's mind. He even mentioned it in Becoming Sister Wives, the story of an unconventional marriage, and made a mean comment. The celeb wrote that Christine ate the largest portion of chili cheese nachos in front of him, and he was grossed out because of it. Cody even called Christine chubby while he tried to assure his audience that he still liked her. However, this incident became a major source of controversy, and he has received backlash for it to date. Though this incident took place years before, Christine still hasn't gotten over it, and she makes sure that she calls it even with Cody by shading him on social media Sister Wives Why Did Janelle Brown Get Twice the Space in Lehigh? Recently, Sister Wives fans have started to reflect on the past seasons of the show. During the first season of Sister Wives, some fans remember that Janelle Brown had a much larger area of the home than Christine Brown Woolley or Mary Brown had. Some people are questioning why that was the case. Janelle Brown had the lion's share of the Lehigh home, while most times fans remember Janelle Brown for making sacrifices in her living for the family. Now fans are reflecting on one instance in particular when she had the winning share. During the first season of Sister Wives, the plural family introduces themselves to the world while living in a huge combined home in Leedy. Admittedly, the home design came from a polygamist making it facilitate the needs of the plural family. Reportedly, it had 6,000 square feet with three separate apartment-style areas, which were all connected on the inside. Each wife had a separate entrance, kitchen, laundry room, and master bedroom. Within Janelle's portion, the kitchen was 800 square feet and used to accommodate many family functions. During that time, Rowan Brown and her kids had not joined the plural family just yet. At that point, Janelle had the entire left side of the home, while Mary and Christine split the right side by levels. While they all lived under one roof, they discussed it as a cohesive living experience where they could aid each other with raising kids, but also have personal autonomy. However, fans are questioning why Janelle had such a larger section of the polygamist home. Why did Janelle Brown get twice the space in Lehigh? On Reddit, one Sister Wives fan says, why did Janelle have two ex the as Christine and Leahy? Furthermore, they elaborate by saying, If this was explained somewhere, I apologize, but why did Janelle have an entire half of the poly house, while Mary and Christine split the other half? Notably, the left side of the home had an upstairs and downstairs level that was considered Janelle Brown and her six kids portion of the home. I don't think it was twice the square footage or half the house, where is this info from? If you believe their graphic and compare to the outside, Janelle's section looks more like one-third. But we know from Coyote Pass the show's graphics aren't reliable. Janelle didn't have half of the house. After the initial post about Janelle Brown's segment of the Lehigh home being twice the size of Christine Brown Woolley or Mary Brown's portion, other fans weighed in. I believe Janelle actually owned the house used her retirement money to buy it or something along those lines, and so she got the biggest of the three living spaces. When they first split up the house, Jonelle had the most kids six to Christine's then five. They didn't know she'd have another at that point. And yeah, it's only a one kid difference, but as stated above, there wasn't really any other way to split it. I read the book, but it was a long time ago. Throughout this journey, I recall it was explained as Janelle had more kids and they were older. Also, it was Janelle who made buying that house possible. Furthermore, Janelle didn't originally follow them to Utah. She was happy with her job. Cody, finding this house, encouraged her to come back to the family. I have the book in my Google Books. I'll look and see what I find when I'm winding down tonight. Other fans think that Janelle Brown didn't have half. Some fans point out that Janelle Brown's left side of the home was in addition to the other apartments. The original two apartments that Christine and Mary Brown had were part of the original floor plan. With that, some say the left side wasn't necessarily the same size as the right. 
They all had three bedrooms so it really just different sizes because of the layout of Janelle's was kitchen slash living room upstairs and bedrooms downstairs all the other two apps were all one floor and same layout. The home was obviously built for a three-wife family, perhaps the original builder intended Janelle's space to be like a main wife space, like a primary apt. I think, more likely, he needed the whole house to be a certain measurement and had to work within that. I'll be the first owner moved because they took on another wife, wonder how it worked out for them. The house isn't original. It was added on to. Where are you getting 2x the sk from? What do you think did Janelle Brown have a larger square footage in the Lehigh house? Do you think it was because she had more kids? Are you ready to see more episodes of Sister Wives? Your comments. Sister Wives spoilers reveal that some fans think that Tony and Michael T. Padron's marriage could have some troubles. These comments are coming up as more viewers have started to watch the previous seasons over again in order to prepare for season 19. These fans have noticed some moments with Michael T. and Tony that seemed a bit tense. Let's find out why these fans think this couple is going through marital issues. Sister Wives spoilers Michael T. and Tony Brown's marriage. Brown's marriage. Tony and Michael T. have been pretty open about their marriage and their family. They are constantly posting about their children and showing one another love. However, some fans have started to notice that Tony doesn't always send Michael T. the love on social media. Her social media account has been showing signs of troubles in their marriage. Redditors started to point this out when they didn't see that Tony wished her happy birthday. One Redditor shared a post about how they felt Tony and Michael T's marriage was in trouble. This Redditor shared that on TikTok, Tony didn't wish his wife a happy birthday. He didn't call her either. He did tell his fans that he called her the day before her birthday and it looked as if they just brushed it off. However, Redditors are very curious as to what is going on with them. If he said it the day before and that was good enough for Michael T, then there's no problem. We hope that Tony and Michael T aren't just blowing it off and that things are going well for them still. Be sure to catch up on everything happening with Sister Wives right now.